Spotty, a hyena and her cub, live in a burrow just a kilometre from park headquarters. And because the rest of her clan have been killed by lions, they live alone. Hyena get really bad press. They're often portrayed as something sinister or a villain. But actually, they're a top predator. They're really interesting. And they're vulnerable, too, to attack from lions. Hyenas are largely nocturnal. They're renowned as scavengers picking up leftovers from other predators' kills. And that brings them into direct competition with the big cats, especially lions. As a result, they often fall victim to them. Many of the park's hyenas have been killed this way. And living alone, Spotty and her cub would stand little chance of surviving an attack from a lion pride. So the team constantly monitor her den. As we drive up to Spotty's burrow, we can see her cub, but there's no sign of Spotty. So we've heard the cub. We know that the cub's OK. Where do you think Mum is? We heard the distress call that, she, uh, that uh, the cub made, so meaning that the mum is not there. Ah, uh, so she'll only do that if, if she's looking for Mum? Yeah. Ah, yeah. uh, OK. Female hyenas will leave their young for a week at a time when they hunt. But without her to protect it, this youngster is very exposed. So how many hyenas did there used to be here? There used to be two females, one male and two cubs. Okay. Uh, they were all killed by a lion. So the, 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 the lions came in and pretty much wiped them out, except for just Spotty. Yeah, except for Spotty and the small one. It's amazing that, that always, you know, it always reminds me of sort of rival gangs with the big predators. Guess, yeah. The lions hate the hyenas. They'll kill them, but they won't eat them, will they? No, they won't eat them, just to decrease the number. Spotty's got herself in a real pickle. She's on her own, surrounded by lions that really don't want her to be here. It's like gang warfare. She's still got a cub to look after. She's got her work cut out for herself. 